Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Rin. I am a 9 year Final Fantasy XIV veteran and I also stream live over at twitch.tv slash rinnybun. This video is to help you get ready for patch 6.4. This is for anyone looking to continue the MSQ, continue more of Tartarus adventures, um, unlock the new and final raid tier, possibly savage fights, and get ready with 3 star and 4 star crafting and gathering. As with every major patch, please be sure to cap on your tombstones of astronomy and causality. Causality will be unlocked after the patch and astronomy will be going away. Tombstones of astronomy can be converted to causality, however. Additionally, the items once purchasable with astronomy will be moved over to the Sacks of Nuts currency in Old Charlene. Those items could be found here at the guild ship hunt vendor after the patch drops. Causality will then be the new tomes for the new crafted materials for your new crafted battle gear. If you would like to craft the new food, potions, and battle craft gear that will be coming, be sure to have your 620 indicator um, gear pentamelded and ready to do so. Be sure to cap on your white and purple crafter scripts um, so you can use some of these items for your materia to pentameld or to stock up on the new food and potion materials that will be needed. You may want to start preparing some craftsman's drought syrups and some of your crafter foods ahead of time so that you have them ready. The most major thing you're going to want to have done is your MSQ post and walker done and completed to get the next set of story, dungeon, and uh, trial that will be coming. Additionally, if you're wanting to continue the Tataru's adventure quest line, make sure you have the Sorrows of Welt uh, quest line done, which can be started in the locks area. Servant Unreal will be coming with the patch, so this will be your last time to do Sophia Unreal. Huh? Expedient. OP. Wait, why are they going back over there? Really? Can't we just stay here? I'm gonna stay here with my friend. I thought we were safe over here. I don't... I thought we were good here, but maybe we're not. We'll see. <laughs> to unlock the final raid tier, make sure to have done um, Asphodelos and the Abyssos. If you do plan to work on Savage, this tier, make sure you have some gill saved, um, any means to gather and craft um, for the new battle crafted gear, and additionally you'll want to stock up on some materia 10s and 9s. You can obtain a materia from hunt trains, um, expert roulettes, uh, sacks of nuts, and from extracting it from your gear. So don't forget to extract all your materia. Additionally, you can collect grip gel and materia from the low parrot beast tribes if you keep up with it daily. You may want to start stocking up on Aether Sands, uh, particularly the Earthbreak Aether Sands. These um, Earthbreak Aether Sands can be obtained from different ways, especially the Sephora Roots and the Earthen Quartz. There will be new island updates, so make sure that you are ranked 12 and have all your buildings. Uh, max construction as well as have all your quests done. Uh, there will be new ocean fishing routes added so make sure to unlock your 
Ocean fishing, if you haven't yet, which is in Limsa, um, you can teleport to the Arcanist Guild and obtain the quest there. The Moogle Treasure Trove will be coming to an end when 6.4 releases, so make sure to obtain any items that you still want to get. Duties that qualify for the Moogle event will have little Moogle icons next to them in the Duty Finder. Lastly, make sure to keep up with the Manderville and uh, Splendor's Tools Relics if you want to continue those down the line. And be sure to check out the website, uh, official special site, for any more information. Thank you for watching.